So we had just gotten back from a uh, from a mission. We got told that we got a, a short notice airdrop for to help out our Afghan partners the next day. Our tactics team had a lot of coordination that they had to do in a very short amount of time. Uh, they had to coordinate with our Afghan partners at the airdrop location. They had to coordinate with reconnaissance aircraft to make sure that they had presence over the airdrop location, to have eyes on the drop zone during the whole operation, and, uh, and then just plan up the whole airdrop from cradle to grave in a very compressed timeline. One of the biggest challenges is we had no U.S. presence at the airdrop location. Coordinating with the Afghan partners to clear the drop zone and, and secure the area was, was one of the bigger challenges. We, we rely on the ground party for several, several things in normal, normal airdrop situations. Uh, security of the drop zone, uh, clearing of the drop zone, and passing the weather and conditions at the drop zone. Uh, without, without their presence there, we had to come up with more creative solutions to get that, that same desired effect. So our tactics team uh, developed a plan in coordination with Intel to make sure we had a great ingress uh, routing to, to avoid uh, those, those perceived threats. Uh, also, we had a, a, a first pass success mentality. We wanted to get the drop off at, at the first moment so that uh, we were in and out of there before the enemy realized we were there. It's critical an airdrop to uh, have a, a good altimeter setting. Without that support, we kind of had to flex to other techniques. We flew over a known point. We knew what altitude we were supposed to be at there, and we verified it off of our systems based on that point. So cradle to grave, it was a complete team effort. I was there to deliver combat air power via airdrop for our Afghan National Army partners so they could keep the fight at the enemy's doorstep.